Get some perspective on this story from international relations expert Dr. Hassan Hanenje. Dr. Hanenje, as always, good to have you with us. So we've got the Agenda 2063 where African countries, by 2018 at least, uh, should have opened their borders. But then we have a lot of African countries that haven't done that. Ethiopia, though, seems to be taking the lead. Uh, why do you think they want to do so? Number one, it makes sense uh, that Ethiopia opens up the borders and allows Africans especially to move freely, in part because the political capital of the world being the seat of the African Union. But it's also in line with Pan-African's agenda, especially as espoused by the current Prime Minister with the ongoing reforms. I think uh, taking that lead is going to send a very strong message to the rest of the African continent. Mm. And then we have Visa Openness Index, which said it's easier for Americans to travel around the African continent than it is for Africans themselves. What will it take to change that? You know, part of this is traced to the colonial legacy that closed African countries from trading with each other, but opened and enhanced uh, relationships between Africans and the colonial masters. Now, however, I think there's an inc increasing recognition that inter-African trade and inter-African experiences is going to be a whole lot more helpful, especially in the 21st century, if we, Africa has to build its economies to the point where it should be viable especially in relation to the rest of the world, because a lot of countries such as the EU, there's free movement of, of, of goods and services, and people too. But uh, Africa for a very long time has been marred by this bad legacy that emerged from colonialism as closed off countries from each other, mm. which I think should change. Right. But we've got good examples in Rwanda, Ethiopia, even Kenya. Uh, but then we have South Africa. It's one of the most difficult countries in Africa to get into. Why do you think that is the case? Now, that... Until recently, uh, South Africa has been the biggest destination of intra-African migrants for, for a very long time. But also the legacy of apartheid left a lot of people, especially people of color, uh, disadvantaged without opportunities. And there is a fear of labor of competition and business competition, not just uh, with the government of South Africa, but also the, the general population, that if they were to open up the, the economy, it's going to be flooded by other people from Africa. But I think uh, the current sense is going to fade away as more South Africans become economically empowered. All the right. fear of the unknown, okay. so to speak. All right. Well, we appreciate those insights. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Hassan Hanenje Institute.